Welcome back after a long break I'm back to making another video. Uh, in this video we'll go over how to clip your raster file down to the size that you need and how to reduce the raster size. If you want to know how to export your raster image to Rhino directly just skip to the next video. Okay so let's get started. This is the DEM file that we prepared from the last video and what we want to do is crop out the island of Manhattan. So there are two easy ways to do this. Um, one allows you to repeat the process multiple times and the other is um, just very simple quick and dirty. So let's start with the quick and dirty. We can click on raster, extraction, clip raster by extent. And so because we only have a single image, um, that's what we will select here as our input layer. And then the clipping extents, instead of typing in the numbers, we will uh, click on these three dots over here. I will click Select Extent on Canvas. We will select it like this. And it will automatically put the coordinates in here. We'll need to save this file now. So. Um, we'll save it uh, under here, click these three dots, save to file, and I started a new folder on my desktop, GIS, raster, and we'll call this one RST for raster, clipped, save, click run. Okay, great, here is our raster file, our new clipped raster. Now there's a second method that allows us to repeat the process with a um, frame so that um, we can get exactly the same output every time. We need to create a new sh shapefile layer. Uh, and there you can click up here. One note on the layout of your QGIS software. Right click into the toolbar here. And I just um, checked every toolbar that they offer. Um, so we'll start a new shapefile layer by clicking this button. You want to press the three buttons here and save that file to, let's start a new folder here called Clipping Mask. Mask. Okay. And then you want to change the geometry type from point to polygon and that's all we need. So now we have a new layer, but this layer doesn't have any information in it yet. So we need to add some information. And for that, we can search for this um, little pencil button and we'll uh, toggle editing. Once the toggle editing uh, is on, we, get an, um, we activate a bunch of new toolbars. And what you're looking for is um, this rectangle shaped um, one. So uh, when you fly that out, you have a, several different options to create a rectangle, and we will choose Add Rectangle from Extent. And let me just turn off our previous clipping mask. And now I will draw in our new shape file. This is a new shape, so once I click um, in the top corner and in the bottom corner, it's not a new um, object yet. I still need to click right click. So once I've right clicked, it asks me to create a ID for that layer. And here's our shape. I can click save edits to layer and I can untoggle the editing. And now we have a shapefile layer that's um, that allows us to consistently clip everything um, that we need to. So we'll go again to raster, extraction, clip raster by extent, and we'll select our original uh, DEM layer. And this time, uh, instead of selecting extent on canvas, use layer extents. And we'll select our new clipping masks as our extents. Now we can save that again. Save to file. Raster clipped. And let's call it mask. Save and run. 
Okay, so two methods for clipping your uh, raster image. Um, let's turn this guy off and um, for sake of clarity we'll just keep one of the clipped rasters. So I'm going to remove this layer. Okay, so now we'll need to reduce the uh, raster file size. So when we go to our um, clip layer here we can right click on it and check the properties for the size of this file. And if we go on information here, we can see that our pixel size is one by negative one. Now I don't know why it's negative one, but basically it means because our uh, units are in feet, it's a pixel size of one foot by one foot. So that's going to be too high for our Rhino, um, Rhino file. So we're going to convert this to a smaller pixel grid. So in order to do that, let's go to our processing toolbox and type in resample. And I'll do that again here. Resample. And you want to have, um, this is where it's important that you use QGIS with grass. If you don't use it with grass, you won't have this um, this uh, toolbar. So we'll use the clipped extents, clipped extent, um, and I will type in 50 uh, for our region cell size, which means 50 by 50 grid, which should shrink our um, original raster significantly. So let's find a um, temporary file, or we can um, save a, a new file. And we'll call it RST resample. And I will run it. Okay, let's close that and let's take a look at our resampled raster. And you might get this um, simple black uh, rectangle. Um, that just means you need to change the vir visualization setting of your raster file. So go under properties, symbology, and we'll choose single band gray. And click apply. Okay, and now we can take a quick look at um, the new resolution of our file. And you can see that um, the grain is much more coarse. Now, depending on depending on your file and your specific needs, you might want to change this. Uh, these settings. Maybe you want to go but with a 25 by 25 grid uh, or whatever it may be. Um, but for us this is uh, this is the perfect resolution. Okay so there you have it. A uh, reduced um, uh, raster size and a clipped raster. In the next video we're going to show you how to export your um, raster to Rhino and how to create a Rhino surface from your raster imagery. See you then.